This is a special Inside Space Live report. The American shuttle and the Russian Mir on this, their third docking mission in space. From the Sci-Fi Control Center, here's Mary Calvi. Hello, welcome back to Sci-Fi's live coverage of the STS-76 mission. I'm Mary Calvi, and let me show you what's happening right now. We are looking at live pictures from NASA. They and we are awaiting the docking of the Mir and the Atlantis. Right now, they are within hundreds of feet, hundreds of feet. Now, this will be the third docking in history. Now, this time, although, there's something else out there in space, something out of the ordinary. Russian flight controllers have been dealing with an unexpected situation. As you probably know, we're entering the period of Comet Hayakutake's maximum brightness. The comet will pass within 10 million miles of Earth in the next few days, which makes it a fairly large, very bright object in the sky. The Mir space station keeps its relative position in space with optical star tracking equipment. This gear uses imaginary lines drawn from some of the brighter stars to fix the station's orientation, which is frequently adjusted. And how the Mir is lined up is, of course, going to be very critical to Atlantis Commander Kevin Shilton and pilot Richard Searfoss as they catch up to and attempt to dock with the Russian station. They're expecting Mir to be in a certain alignment so they can approach from directly below and fly up an imaginary line of their own. One drawn from the center of the Earth up through the long axis of the Mir. Again, Mir and Atlantis are within 300 feet of docking, and we are awaiting that docking. We'll be following it closely, and we'll bring you the latest. Right now, we return you to the beginning of the end playhouse. I'm Mary Calvi for Inside Space. <laughs>